good Friday morning. You're looking at some beautiful footage of downtown Wahala from our awesome drone camera. The amazing 7 News team has been here all morning. YC sneaking in, but we kept Fred Cunningham with us. Yes. Yeah. You've been here all morning. You yeah. haven't been on TV enough. So what's, <laughs> what's one more hour? Fred's like, I've you, already Fred. been here for 12 hours yeah. already. Why not continue <laughs> the love for Wahala and Oconee County? You guys did a fantastic job this morning. Thank of course, you. we love this area. Zip yes. trips are always fun. Yeah. I was like, we got to drag Megan out to come Yay! to one of these. I'm going to be stuck in the studio by myself. I, just, yeah. I get in trouble by myself too much. <laughs> you had like, to I mean, drive through Clemson, but you'll be okay. You know? I'm right. like, this, this game caught driving through Tiger Country. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. This it is so pretty. <laughs> like, oh. Right. But I have friends, you gotten into, I've really gotten into softball this year. I mean, yes. I've always been in, but you know, yeah. the Clemson story has just been so Yeah, yeah. they had an amazing, coming. I mean, not only an amazing season this year, but it's been amazing since they From started. From day one, and they just From started. From day one, they were like really good and yes. nationally ranked throughout the year. They had an incredible season. They were incredible at home. Uh, they softball did a good baseball. job. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I know their season ended at Oklahoma, but, but Oklahoma, who beats Oklahoma? <laughs> nobody beats Oklahoma, <laughs> yeah. and they played actually really well out so there. So good. And, and, and Cagle course, getting. And, and y'all know Cagle I know nothing about it sports, so but I'm like, like you, softball and baseball. You watch I know a couple games. Like you, you would get into it. Softball is really fun. Uh -huh. I mean, just from a spectator standpoint, if you can get a ticket, and it's hard to get a ticket at Clemson. Yeah. It, same thing in South Carolina. I mean, the game moves very quickly. Real quick, a lot of hits. You know. There's great plays uh -huh. out there. The fans are. I love that experience. It's always yes. a great time, and if you're, you know, going to Clemson, uh -huh. you can just keep on trucking keep on yeah. to come here to Wahala. Sixteen more miles, I think. <laughs> you're right. Okay, let's talk about this building that we're in. The Wahala Performing it Arts. It used to be Center. an old, like, elementary school. It was a great school, 1903. Yeah, 1903, and I believe that this building was maybe built in 13 to go mm. along with the school, and then, from what my understanding is, thanks to your crack research, that, <laughs> yeah. um, I think it sat dormant for many, many, many years and they've turned it into a great place there's not a bad seat in the house no. yeah and of course you know the war did a lot of that because a lot of the, mm -hmm. the the funding and things came out of course this area is known for being the mountains uh, you know the, gateway the main to street the to the yeah. mountains which yeah. is really fantastic of course lots of cool places to be outdoors if you love waterfalls it's the queen of falls yeah. oh. and that has a whole story with it that you know lots of different twists to it whenever we go to the mountains Luchies. i always tell the kids once we make it to Wahala, guys, the wind, you're done with the wind. You know, like, get, get to Wahala, and then the windy's done. And I was, right? I was listening to a podcast on the way over here this morning. Oconee County is the only county in South Carolina that borders two states. Like yeah, oh, that Georgia. Yeah, that. yeah. so right. it's yeah. like yeah. I so never thought that. But that that's something that again you know crack research right we don't know. Right. Right. So, but you know, some podcast said it. One so. thing I want to let everybody know about really quickly is that when you're going to do your hiking and that kind of thing, we had one of our first responders uh -huh. on. He said, please wear you know hydrate number Jeez. one, but number two footwear. They say they rescue yeah. people that are up here in flip flops and, and Crocs. Crocs, yes. 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 You so definitely don't want to go to Issaquah Falls, which is a, it's only a point two mile hike. Yes. But it goes straight down and straight up. Wow. Uh -huh. And so you definitely don't want to be there with like poor footwear. No. Because as someone who hikes a lot, I yes. see it all the time of people that slip off of off of waterfalls, slip down embankments, and you don't want to like stress you the, the resources of those. I think a lot folks. of those are people that were random like Let's you go know, we was doing something else, and someone's mm -hmm. like, "Hey, let's go hide." I'm like, "I don't got my Crocs on." Yeah, let's go, but that's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and you can probably do the tunnel with that, you know, yes, the Stump House yes. tunnel. But you don't want to do the waterfalls because no. you could get really hurt, or yes. you know, even worse. So be sure you're you're careful with that. Yes. And we were talking about the blue cheese yesterday. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the, Yo, I don't like blue cheese. You don't like blue cheese. I'm not a blue cheese. And you definitely either. probably wouldn't like Clemson blue cheese, right? I mean, it's just like you know, I've tried it, like you know, on this on a steak. But how about a salad? No. Not a, you don't no, like it. I don't. I, I don't. Know. I've tried, and as I get older, I keep. I'm like, maybe I'll like it this year. Right. And is it because not, of the, the word maybe, blue? <laughs> yes. Because there's not that many not you know, that items many, that are blue food. Chunk, I don't know. It's just, you know, as a kid, like if you go to a salad bar and you right. thought you were getting ranch, yeah. and then you were quickly surprised, yes. you're like, this is not ranch. <laughs> if you smother something in cheese, even blue cheese, I'll eat anything. You'll I'll eat, eat asparagus. All. Right. <laughs> smother it. Now, they they could actually be. Yeah. Here. Right. And now they make the blue cheese apparently on Clemson's campus. I think they stopped making it. In the tunnel obviously because it's that that balmy 56 degrees inside the <laughs> tunnel and uh, i think a humidity of like 80 something percent which is you know the perfect place to cure right. blue g's yeah. which 
<laughs> I mean, I, I, I will brag about it that we have it. Just, <laughs> but I'm not going to, you're not, not Megan's not running to the store to get no. any blue but cheese. But you know where I am, want to run, and I'm, oh shoot, I don't think we'll be done in time. Did y'all eat it, uh, Catherine's Cupboard on the way, or Country mm, Cupboard no, on the way? No, it was, it was closed when I was a little early when I <laughs> got here. And then it I think breakfast is until 10, so I was okay. like, oh, I may have to dip or out of here. the Steakhouse Cafeteria, which apparently is a Wahala staple. With the best, like I've had. Fried chicken. Five <laughs> different people tell me. It is hands down the best fried chicken they've ever had. The owner wow. of bed apparently makes the best fried chicken. Yes. There apparently is really no steak on the it's steakhouse the menu. Steakhouse. And the, there's no steak. There's no steak. The only thing I, saw, I was looking at the menu yesterday. The only thing I saw was hamburger steak. Hamburger steak. steak. <laughs> but there's no steak. But he's known well, for the fried chicken. Apparently the best fried chicken in the world. The so best meat and thirties. I'm, I'm going to wait over until 1030 I'm to get thinking, me a box like, of fried chicken and go. Because like, you know, if you say, chicken, if you, you just slow walk out. Yeah, of right. Yeah. Like, oh, looks like I'm getting some fried chicken. Oh, yeah. I'm going to swing up to like Issaquina Falls for a little bit and then go back just down. Just eat your on chicken by yourself. Just like, hey, what? Yeah. Not bad, right? <laughs> I, I'm not judging. That's when you said you want to come to Walhalla, I'm like, It was like, let me look at let me look at the food situation real quick. Google meat and threes, done. But of course, lots of great things in downtown that you guys have done mm -hmm. a great job. And we're going to try to feature a lot of those uh, places here are doing your Carolina during this whole hour. So lots of things to, to talk things. about. And one thing y'all were talking about a lot earlier was all the outdoor things, yes. all the hiking and things. So mm -hmm. guys, go to our Facebook page. Answer this morning's Skinks question of the day. We want to know, what is your favorite outdoor activity? I mean, I said to Marcus, I know I'm gonna it's going to be such hard, a hard time. for you. I don't know. I don't ever go outside. Never outside. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Yellow, my, one of my favorite waterfalls of all times, and I go all over, is Yellow Branch Falls, which is right across from Issaquina Falls and Stump House Tunnel. It is one of the most beautiful cascades you will see. It has so many different, like, Good for levels kids, to it. Like, it's great for kids. Okay. It's, it's not a difficult hike at all. I mean, it's, it's a moderate hike, I think, but it's, okay. it's beautiful. And it's, if you're going to be doing that stuff, just go right across the street. Well, I love it. Get a little twofer. Yeah. Pick up my yeah. chicken. What about you? Golf. Very golf. easy golf. <laughs> yeah. No problem. And you're about to play in the, you get to play yeah, in the BMW? Yeah, I'm going to play a little in the BMW. What? Uh, Pro -Am next That's week. awesome. I'm going to play nine, a practice round. I'm going to play nine holes. I didn't see you on the celebrity list. He's one of the celebrities. You're the biggest celebrity Pete in the Yandy. other day. No, no, Pete Yandy gets to play in it. I think he'll be in, in action on <laughs> Thursday and Friday. I don't think I'm supposed to say who he's playing with yet, but it's oh, a big Oh, it's a big thing. Big star. Big. Oh, oh. Almost as big as Pete. I'm sure we'll Pete's be out there, deal. so we'll, we may be able to snag you for a quick interview or oh, something. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget us little people, Fred. <laughs> right? Yeah, so enjoy your you. weekend. Thank you for doing such a great job. Yeah, Thank you, you so guys have done such a great Zip job. Too. Always good to visit with you Yeah, guys. filling in for Jack Roper. But Jack, you know, you're going to be on your vacation. You yeah, Fred's Jack going to take Lee's this spot, right? I'm free after nine. Okay, hey, we would love to have you any day. We hope you guys are going to stick around and enjoy our zip trip here in Wahala. Coming up next, we're going to be introducing you to two furry friends who are looking for forever homes. We're taking Furry Friend Friday on the road here from Wahala. They were out getting some of their energy so out. Cute. A little bit, <laughs> little sweeties. Plus, what's to see and do here in Wahala? We got all the answers. There's so much. Stick around for more zip trip here in Wahala, South Carolina. <laughs>